guys, welcome to Light Screening, the channel for movie lovers more than movie savvies. Today I want to talk to you about Ford vs Ferrari. This is a movie about an American car designer, Carol Shelby, and the driver, Ken Miles, who battle corporate interference, the laws of physics, and their own personal demons to build a revolutionary race car for Ford that can beat Ferrari at the 24 Hours of Le Mans in 1966. So this is from director James Mangold. He did Girl Interrupted, Walk the Line, The Wolverine, Logan, human stories and this is also a human story uh it's from the writers jess butterworth and uh, john harry butterworth they did together edge of tomorrow specter fair mcfair game also from writer jason keller he did machine gun preacher mirror mirror escape plan cinematography by fedden papa michael who did downsizing w the ides of march walk the line the pursuit of happiness uh, editing by Andrew Buckland, uh, Michael McCusker and Dirk Westervelt. I could tell you all the movies that these people have done. Why am I telling you cinematography, editing and all, etc. Because this is a studio movie. This is a one of those movies that regardless of script and the script and the, and the trailer tells you that. This is about a competition. This is about winning. This is about a team beating another team. This is how the trailer portrays the movie. And we've seen this a million times. It's not like we've never seen this. We've never seen this kind of movie before. But it's one of those movies that everything is well crafted. You know, the lighting is great. The, the, the costumes are great. The cinematography is great. The editing is great. You don't notice anything. You just, you just get entertained. Okay, so I'm telling you the, the, um, the technical, uh, all, the, all these names because they, they, it just works. You know, it's a piece of the puzzle that just works. Uh, and what works even better? The actors. This is Matt Damon and Christian Bale. Oh my God. I mean, I, do I need to tell you, these guys, what they've done? <laughs> these are, you know, Oscar nominees, Golden Globe winners, Oscar winners. So Matt Damon playing Carol Shelby, playing this um, diplomat, you know, the guy that is a negotiator that is willing to just, you know, uh, work the parts until everybody gets what they want and then you have Christian Bale doing what he does better the rogue Ken Miles the driver that just likes to drive he's not into selling himself or 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 negotiating himself so he's, he's just he just considered bad tempered and these guys just I I don't want to jump ahead to the to the review but Oh my God, they are so good people. They are so good and they work so well together. I've never seen them together. They haven't worked together before, I think. And, and it just, it's like, it's just like a river flowing. They are beautiful together. I, it's, it was such a pleasure. Uh, anyway, you also have John Berenthal. Katriana Balf, John Lucas, Ron McKinnon, Noah Jupe, Tracy Letts, Remo Jerome. So you, you, there are a lot of people in this movie. Um, it's a studio movie. Again, it's well crafted. Everything works. Everything is perfect. Nothing more, nothing less than what's necessary. And then the performance are, the performances are just great. This movie is more than two and a half hours long. And it, it absolutely surprised me that it was so... I wasn't aware of it when I went when I entered the, the movie theater. When I got out, in almost three hours had passed, because we also have a recess in Portugal anyway. Three hours had passed, and I was like, what? Seriously? I mean, I, I don't know where time went, because I was so entertained. I didn't have big expectations. I expected one of those competition movies, period. I got surprised with something a little better. Not, let me say this, not that the script is something that we've never seen before, but maybe because the director is who he is, 
the human part is very well exploited. The, the characters are very interesting. It's not just a competition movie. It, it, it's got that edge about fighting the suits, you know, fighting the, corp fighting the corporation and, and that little fine line between you being who you are and you pleasing your employers. And when does that, you know, when does that balance kind of unbalances you? That is interesting to watch, not new either. But anyway, again, it's just it just works. It's just a puzzle that just fits together and it's just great. And I was so entertained. And, and uh, I'm well, let's jump ahead. I absolutely recommend it. But anyway, let me tell you some some um, little curiosities about this movie. It won awards for cinematography, sound editing. It won a Hollywood Film Award for Best Direction. Um, also. Katriana Balf, this is another thing that uh, that uh, jumps out. Uh, Katriana Balf does The Wife of Ken Miles, and this is the only woman who is an actual character and has lines. She's never in the racing track, and most of the movies in the racing track, but it's, it's a strong part. I'm not offended by the fact that she's the only woman with lines. This is a, a men's story, especially in 66, so it doesn't shock me that this is the only woman who has a part. It's a strong character. It was very well written. It's got strong lines. It's got strong attitudes. She played it so wonderfully, so I was not offended by this. Some critics were. Some some people that are, some stuff that I read online, people were saying that this part was just put there because it had to have a, to have a woman. Maybe so. I don't, I, it's something that you just, it's an afterthought, you know, because I thought the movie worked as a whole and this, this character is be a beautiful character, very well written. It, it's got depth. It doesn't offend me that she's the only woman. Uh, it's, it's a sign of the times. It was 1966. It was a racing track. So fine. Um, another thing, um, another curiosity, Le Mans is not, uh, it's not a race anymore. So uh, this movie had to be shot piece by piece in different places. And it, 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 there was a lot of spoken, uh, um, context for the actors so they could do this. There's a lot of the racing track in this movie, so this is an important, it's an important little curiosity. Um, different cars were used with different distress signs, different places were used to, to portray uh, some of the pieces of the, the track in Le Mans. Uh, they were acting based on a board and saying, this is where we are, this is what you gotta feel. So. This is important, uh, some, some curio curious information to understand that these guys are really great actors, my God. I mean, you got to see them together. This is all, uh, this is the best I can say about this movie. It's the fact that I didn't notice that it was more than two and a half hours long. And I was so delighted with their performances. Matt Damon and Christian Bale. Christian Bale just is insane, my God. I don't know how he does it. I am absolutely a fan. How can this, this guy, you know, he's got the tan and he's got the, the greasy nails and he's got all of that, but he's got the physicality. He's got the, I mean, he just becomes the, the, the characters. It's amazing. I have nothing but praise for this guy. I'm, I'm, I, I found myself the next day thinking, holy shit, Christian Bale, my God. You know, I, I was eating breakfast and going, Oh, what a privilege it is to watch actors like these. You know, what a privilege it is. Ugh, talent, my God. Anyway, um, the critics online, um, th this is a crowd pleaser, okay? I haven't read many bad reviews. The bad reviews that I've read were those people that expected something very specific about racing, and they went on saying that there is no mention of the original uh, GT40 uh, designer that is from England. His name is Eric Broadley. Um, also, Danny Holm, who also drove the car at Le Mans with Ken Miles, he's a ghost. He doesn't appear in the movie. I accept that criticism. It's true. I noticed that. I mean, there were two drivers at Le Mans. Half of the movie, maybe not half, but uh, not half at all, but a big chunk of the movie is at Le Mans, at the race. And you know there is another driver, but he, he, he's got like one or two lines and you go like, what? Oh, wait, I thought that, 
huh? why doesn't that character appear more more uh, solidly more specifically because he also helped doing what they are doing there in another little detail this is based on real events so i mean i accept the criticism about the driver that wasn't almost wasn't mentioned in this movie i think that is that is not so great but this is entertaining. This is engaging. The performances are absolutely incredible. Uh, the to me the storyline, the the rogue uh, guys versus corporate suits, it speaks to me. So I was delighted with that with that angle. Everything works. Uh, the competition is also you know uh, an interest, uh, something interesting to to look at. The whole evolution of, of the main character, of Ken Miles, the evolution of the character is beautiful. The whole thing. There's just one little tiny detail. I think that the last five minutes or so were not necessary. I mean, a line at the end of the movie, just a little explanation would be, I think, far better. I didn't quite understand it. If somebody could tell me why this, that any, this, did anyone feel that that was necessary enlighten me because I didn't get it. I think a, a little sentence at the end would be okay. Um, anyway, perfect duo. Uh, I loved it. What can I say? I was expecting something that wasn't so thrilling, to be honest. I, I was expecting a competition movie, one of those that you know what's going to happen and you just, you just go like, okay, get it over with. Come on, I get it. Come on. I got more than that, so I'm pleased. So happy that I watched it. Again, I, I, at, at the, the next day, I was thinking, wow, my God, Matt Damon, and, and, and especially Christian Bale. I'm sorry, Matt Damon, but Christian Bale. I mean, how can he do that? Unbelievable. So I absolutely recommend it. I hope you have as much fun as I did. I'm probably not going to remember it that much. You know, at least not the story. It's just another competition story. Just another uh, corporate... Uh, versus uh, versus independent spirit uh, story but I had lots of fun and uh, it's based on a true story so what else what else do you want you know let's jump into a blast from the past and my blast from the past today I didn't watch it this week I didn't but a friend sent me um, we exchange a little uh, uh, some some um, suggestions and she sent me this uh, a scene from this movie uh, from YouTube and I remember watching this movie I couldn't tell you right now I can't remember because you know information sleeps in my head for a little while and then it goes away but I can't remember almost anything like th of the technical issues like cinematography or the performances or whatever but I remember the story. I remember it stayed with me. It's one of those movies that I'm never going to forget, ever, as long as I live. I'm never going to forget it, so much so that I bought the book. I, I don't want to forget this story, and so I have to recommend it. And I'm going to show you the book in Portuguese, and probably you're not going to know what the movie is, but if you see, the actors are here. Okay, and the price as well, quite cheap. Um, <laughs> this movie is called Pay It Forward. It's from 2000. It's it's directed by Mimi Leder. It's got Kevin Spacey as the professor. It's got Haley Joel Osment, little, tiny, young uh, Haley uh, Joel Osment as the kid who wants to change the world, and Helen Hunt as his mother. My friend sent me the scene where the professor, Kevin Spacey, uh, the character of the professor, tells their student the assignment. And the assignment, ladies and gentlemen, he tells his young students, uh, 10, 11 years old, 12 years old, he tells them that the only assignment they have for the rest of the year is to come up with an idea to change the world. So... Uh, the dialogue between the character of Haley Joel Osment and Kevin Spacey is just delightful. Kevin Spacey, Spacey is just, it does this, it's a fabulous scene. And I, again, I don't remember anything about the technicalities. 
I remember the story and anyone who's seen this movie probably does because it's it's a fabulous idea, it's a beautiful story, it's something that should stay with us forever and ever and none of us should forget it and I absolutely recommend it. Pay, your, pay it forward, ladies and gentlemen, more than any other movie, this is worth watching as a human being. So I recommend it. Thank you for watching. Tell me what you think about what I'm saying. If you like what I'm saying, please subscribe. That's the point. Comment because the algorithm of YouTube likes comments and even maybe more than views. So um, so that I keep doing this and, and we keep having a conversation, say something, okay? Uh, tell, me, tell me what you think about the career of Hallie Joel Osment, for instance. That is interesting. I mean, we all remember him as a little boy and he's been doing stuff so if you know something about it uh, comment also about these movies that I've just talked about if you've seen them say something and thank you for watching